My name is Ross Levine. I'm a hematologist and researcher. I spend my time studying patients with blood cancers, including myeloproliferative neoplasms, and also taking care of patients with these diseases. I spend the majority of my time in my research lab, working with the scientists in the lab, helping them think about their experiments, talking to them about their plans, interpreting data. So my decision to do hematology and oncology was ironically backwards. I went to medical school not knowing what I wanted to do with my career, but once I went to the laboratory I was hooked and it turned out the lab I worked in was a cancer research lab. In 2005 I was a scientist in training in Gary Gilliland's lab and we were interested in trying to use modern genetic or genomic techniques to unlock the mysteries of different blood cancers and decided that we really wanted to study myeloproliferative neoplasms and use genomic technologies to understand what makes them tick. Patients and doctors really were starved for knowledge, starved for insight into the basic mechanisms of disease, what's under the hood. We were able to show that the majority of patients with these MPNs have mutations in a gene called JAK2 that has been important to change how we think about these diseases, how we diagnose and classify them, and most importantly, inspired the development of treatments. The questions we're asking, although they're scientifically interesting in and of themselves, are aimed to help our patients. I really believe that you always want to be thinking about the patient when you're in the lab and about the lab when you're in the clinic. Yes, we want to understand better. We want to make discoveries. We want to push the boundaries of knowledge. But we're doing that for our patients. And I think that's really important to always remember. And it's one of the reasons why I continue to both work as a scientist and as a clinician. If we really compare things to where we were in 2005, I think we can be pretty proud that things have come a long way. But we can't rest on our laurels. We have to do better. And we have to continue to improve and take this success and build further upon it. Every day I want to come in and help push the frontiers of knowledge for NPN patients. It's not about individual recognition or accomplishment, it's about being part of the team. We know what we need to do, and we now have a greater group of investigators that I'm proud to be part of. I'm proud in some cases to have trained them. I'm also proud to be their colleague who are working together to solve these questions, and I couldn't be more optimistic. It really is all coming together now, and it's this tremendous moment. There's a whole group of people in this field now making stunning discoveries all around the world. None of that existed before 2005. So to see the field come to this tremendous fruition and to think about the short-term potential and what it could mean to our patients is just really inspiring to me.